Before we begin drafting, let's take a moment to set up our document. This way we can all start with the same baseline. First, close any other Vectorworks files you may have open. Then go to Tools, Options, Vectorworks Preferences. In the Vectorworks Preferences dialog box, choose the Session tab and click the Reset Saved Settings button. Be sure that both options in the Reset Settings dialog box are checked and then click OK twice to close both windows. Now go to File, New, and choose Create Blank Document, then click OK. To keep things organized, we'll separate our sketch from the layer we plan to use for drafting. To do this, go to Tools, Organization, and choose the Design Layers tab. Select the existing design layer, Design Layer 1, and click the Edit button. Rename this layer from Design Layer 1 to Scan 1. Also, click the Scale button to change the layer scale from 1 to 1 to 1 to 50, and then click OK twice to close the Edit Design Layers dialog. Next, click the New button to create the second design layer. This time, name the layer Floor 1 and check the option Edit Properties After Creation. Keep the layer scale at 1 to 50. Additionally, input 10 feet 8 inches in the layer wall height field. Now click OK twice to close both windows. By setting this value, any walls created on floor 1 will have a default height of 10 feet 8 inches. Last, go to File, Page Setup. Uncheck Show Page Breaks. Also, check the option Choose Size Unavailable in Printer Setup and set the Size drop down menu to US Arch D. Click OK to close the Page Setup dialog. Click Fit to Page in the view bar so that you're centered on the drawing. Our setup is now complete. Now we can start drafting. We will be working from a sketch of the building to create the first and second floor plans. So we must import the scanned PDF after we verify in the view bar that the scan1 layer is the active layer. Now go to File, Import, Import PDF. Choose the file Scan Floor 1 from your exercise folder and open it. Click Import from the Import PDF dialog. You should now see the scanned PDF in the drawing area. Currently, if you are trying to trace the sketch with the wall tool, you would find that the measurement from the wall you are drawing does not match the dimensions shown on the scan. To fix this, we must use the Scale Objects command. To scale all objects in the drawing correctly, you only need one known length. We'll use the longest horizontal dimension at the top of the page. So let's go to Modify, Scale Objects, and choose Symmetric by Distance. Click the Dimension button to the right of the Current Distance field. This will temporarily switch you back to the drawing so that you can measure the current distance of your known length. Point your cursor toward one of the endpoints of the horizontal dimension, then press the Z key to evoke the snap loop. Now that we have a clear view of the intersection point, click to set the first point. Then point your cursor at the opposite endpoint of the dimension, and again evoke the snap loop to get a clear view of the intersection point. This time, however, hold the Shift key before setting the endpoint in order to constrain the line horizontally. Once you see the cursor cue horizontal and have the sketch dimension endpoint aligned as best possible, click to set the endpoint. This will return you to the Scale Objects dialog. You can see the current distance field is now filled in with the measurement we just took. We know this is not the correct distance, so in the New Distance field, Input what the value of the measurement we just took should be, which is 90 feet. Then click OK. Answer Yes to the next dialog, since we need to scale the entire drawing. Now, if we use the Constrained Dimension tool from the Dims and Notes toolset and measure the same distance again, it comes out to be 90 feet. This means any new object we draw will be at the correct scale as well.